very much for having me here. It's a treat. Um, I, I, my office is in the Mission Campus, but I'm here because I really, I wanted to come last year, but I wasn't able to. But this year I am I'm very lucky and I was able to come. Um, just a minor correction on my title. I am the Dean of the Mission Campus School of ESL and Transitional Studies. Um, the international program has kind of been split into um, the Office of Admissions and I oversee the teachers only. But I'm proud that, you know, you, you're, I am part of, a little bit part of the, um, the international program, but not completely. So a little bit about myself. I am originally from South America. So I learned English for, like many of you, um, it has been a, a journey. So I went to school in Wisconsin. I got a scholarship, um, graduated from there and uh, transferred to CSU East Bay to get my master's degree and my doctoral degree. So the training that you have received, I didn't get it until I was getting my master's degree. So you are very lucky to have had instructors who believe in you, who have given you the support to make it where you are today, because it's, it's not easy. I have been a very shy child. I was scared to talk to people. I was scared to, um, to look at people, right? But then I realized if I am scared, you know, I will always be scared. So then I learned that I need to look up at uh, people's eyes when I talk. Because where I grew up, you usually look down, right? And little by little, I realized, like, ask questions. Your teachers are here to help you. Right? And you have done a lot of work um, interviewing. And I know it has been a journey. So for those of you who are graduating, give yourself a big round of applause. Or if it's not applause, give yourself a hug because it has, it's not easy to get where you are. And for the, what I do when there is a TH, that was my struggle, TH. Like is in Spanish, there is no TH. But I figure it out, okay, if, um, you know, this is, everybody finds a trick to learn a, a language. And what I used to do is put a little bit of, um, a tiny piece of candy under my tongue, and then go around and find all the TH words that I could find. And that's how I practice, and it worked. I, and you were able to, you know, recruit new students. You were able to interview them and select them Right, there were probably disagreements, but you were able to come up to a common ground because you believe in the program and you believe on your classmates. You believe that everybody has a chance, right? And if you give them the chance, we will succeed. So once again, congratulations to those of you who are graduating and keep going. With the, with the hard work for those of you who haven't finished yet. And once again, thank you so much for having me here today. Robert, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, students, I'm so proud of you all. I was thinking a lot about success recently um, in preparing to speak today. And when you think about the word success, maybe you think of reaching your goals, right? Um, then I started thinking about how do we measure success in different fields or different industries? And I thought about um, in business, industry, technology, we measure success usually by the bottom line, right? The return on investment, how much money we earn, how many clients we gain or customers we gain. Uh, in technology and science, we also um, might measure our success in terms of how many new apps or new inventions we create. But when I think about education and I think about teachers, uh, we measure success by how you succeed, by your success. So your success <clears throat> is our success. And today, you are successful, so this is our success. Uh, we are so proud of you. You worked so hard for this program. I am very, um, very proud of the determination that you showed. I know that this is not an easy program. What really impresses me most about the OTP is the teamwork and the community that you build together. And I believe that going forward, that will really help you in your various jobs. So when you enter the workforce and you're uh, 
in your different jobs, please know that every success you have in the future in your jobs is also our success. And you'll have good days and bad days, right? Like everybody. And all those difficult days, I want you to imagine and think about all of your instructors on the sidelines cheering you and saying, yay, you can do it. You can do it. You are successful uh, because you have your community with the OTP and you will always have your instructors here at City College. Um, we are your family. So I know that you're graduating today, but I have one more homework assignment I'd like to give you if, if Robert doesn't mind. And that is tonight, when you look in the mirror, I want you to look at yourself and say, I am a success. I am a success. I am a success. Because you truly are. Thank you so much for letting me be a supporter and a help when I can. And I am incredibly proud of you. And I know all your instructors are as well. Again, your success is our success. Thank you for the time. Thank you, Elisa. And um, I know that any time that my students have an opportunity to interact with you, I know it will be a very positive experience, a very uplifting experience, and you will leave them with something as you did today with your words. I uh, really appreciate that. And I remember, um, I recommend, let's do some recruiting right now. I recommend all of you who take uh, Elisa's <laughs> class. Um, but I remember when we were in person, and then uh, Lisa used to uh, teach across the hall from me. And every time I walked by her classroom, her students were lively, engaged, uh, having fun, but learning, of course, right? Like we do here, You're, we're learning seriously, but we're also having fun. And I always, every time I walked by her class, it was like that. So I know that that's and very important to her to, to create meaningful experiences for you and help you learn. And if you take, if you decide to take her class, you won't be disappointed. Imagine having the uplift, hearing uplifting words like that every day. Right? You're too kind. You're way too kind. <laughs> Robert, you're very kind. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for making the time for us. Thank today. you so much. How are you? Good. I know you're you're well into a extensive ceremony <laughs> so I'll try to be brief and in thinking about VOTP I have just one word for you that word is love I can see it on your faces this morning I certainly feel it when I work with Robert and talk to Robert about this program I feel it in my own heart for you and for all the work that you do together and everything that you create, each group of students adds a new layer to the beautiful cake that is this BOTP program. Little by little, we have built a beautiful community with lessons, activities, feedback from your teacher, but even more than that, what each of you bring and contribute makes this program so special. It's your commitment and your hard work and your love to each other and to yourself, right? So I'm very proud and very grateful to be here today to support you and to see you grow and bring that love that you created here out into the world next. Thank you so much for having me here today. Congratulations. So, um, <laughs> so you know, I've, I know I've mentioned Jeff's name several times during our classes, but I'm really happy to have the opportunity to point out exactly how important Jessica is and was and is to our program. Now in a supportive role as a leader of the ESL department and helping us, for example, get those 
um, my lab licenses. I'm not sure if you want to clap or if you want to boo. <laughs> Right. So having a supporter like Jessica is really important to the success of our program and to the opportunities that you get, right? But also, Jessica knows this program very well because we did it together for at least eight years, ten years maybe? More than ten? Eight or ten. Yeah, yeah about, about ten years, right? Neither, neither one of us can remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so the, the love and the care that you see in the program, whether it's in Canvas or in Zoom or here or whatever, uh, is something that I think we nurture together, right? And that a lot of what you see was a contribution from Jessica. And I'm so glad that the spirit and the love continues and that we get to tell you about it and share it with you at graduation. Um, Jessica is a person of character. Right, so we see it now as a leader, now that she's our leader. But I saw it every day when we were, you know, uh, in, in Zoom, but then also when we were in person. We would work together every day, right? So she's very committed and very fair and challenging, right? She wants to challenge you also, right? And um, so I feel like. You know, part of the reason why it's as good as it is now is because of Jessica's contributions and influence. So I'm super happy, uh, I guess most happy that I get the chance to see you. Uh, number two <laughs> is that we get to share this experience with you, which has been such a big part of your life and that you, we get to continue to share it with you. anymore but we used to work together every single day on this program can you hear me without the mic yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and and we used to um, Robert used the word challenging right challenge in a good way that Robert and I used to really challenge each other how can we make this better every day how can we make this better what can we do to give the students more opportunities. So all the things that you do now, like you, you do the orientation and you go and recruit and you create all the parts of the program, that was me and Robert pushing each other, right? What, what can we do? And the students pushing us too, right? And, and so I think VOTP is this amazing place where it, it's, not a, it's not an angry push, like I said before, it's a push with love, like to raise each other up, right? Do more. Try more. I think Robert says to you, grab the opportunity, right? And and so anyway, I don't want to go on and on. I could. I'll stop now. Thank you, Robert, so much for everything you do here. Uh, I'll just also add one more thing. So, oh, oh. Then, <laughs> so we're, we're responsible for making it an extensive. Uh, or yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so um, that I think you all realize now. I mean, how many times have you heard me say, "Give me some feedback so we can improve the program," right? Yeah. So. Um, we're obviously very interested in making this as good as possible, and so the, also the lesson that we learned back when we used to do it ourselves, because it was a small program at one campus, is we learned to involve the students. Right? And now it's so much bigger and so much better, so that's why we're constantly seeking your feedback, because we do our best job to try and figure out what, what would be helpful to you, but the only way to really know is to get your feedback, so thank you for all your contributions and taking advantage of the opportunity to share your feedback with us. I, I'm planning to listen to you all. I came here last year and really appreciate it for your hard work. Um, it's really great to see you. I'm not planning to take too much time to speak, but really appreciate your dedication, your persistence. Um, I had a chance to uh, uh, talk with Robert to get to know your program, the whole shebang with um, orientation and interview. I'm learning so much from you, and I'm a, I'm, a, uh, I'm a supporter of listening to students, and I think you all have so much wisdom that we need to learn from. And this is the 
probably the second time I'm I'm meeting um, Oscar in person, and he was in my class, and then Jason's in my class. Oh my gosh, Jason, so so different from like five years ago when I met you. It's four years. Four years. Okay. All right. Okay. So um. Really, thank you for your inspiration, and please uh, continue with your good work. And I really want to have more opportunity to work with them to um, create a really awesome onboarding um, orientation for our students. And I think you will have so much wisdom to share with us to um, make our program so much better. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so, Jean was there, there. was a transition between the period when we were officially fully online and when we were in person. And so, we used to be at the downtown campus, but we had some challenges scheduling. And and then Jean said, you know, we'll do it. Come on over to Chinatown. I'll help you do it. <laughs> and so, in that period before Fanny assumed the role of uh, the online coordinator, Jean helped make sure. That this program happened. Even though it wasn't at this campus, she knew it was important and she helped schedule and make sure that we had the opportunity to have the classes. So we're always happy to, re to remember how you helped us and invite you for our graduations. Right, and I'm always happy to come to your graduations. It's always just an amazing event to see how much people have put into it, Robert and your other teachers. And, um, and I love to hear the stories of your journeys through the year of BOTP, and actually I want to hear about where you end up and where you go. So it's just an amazing forward program, and I am your number one cheerleader on the sidelines. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you.